Welcome back. So here we go with uh, the microvit and a thumb stick, one of these things, and I'm going to use it for four inputs. One device, two pins, four inputs. I can actually do three pins and five and five inputs, but we don't need to go there. And again, quick refresher: a thumb stick is actually two of these kind of things, variable variable resistors. Uh, potentiometers that are dials. You know, they go from you know zero to full kind of thing. Um, you know, one for the x direction, one for the y direction, and that's got a push button. Um, so that's the fifth. And I've got it connected to pin two, pin three, three volts, and ground. Even though it says five volts, it didn't want to act correctly. And what I mean by correctly is, uh, if you see some numbers here, it's popping around 500 because this analog input sends values between from 0 to 1023. Um, and so 512 should be the middle, like resting position, but it's not going to be right perfectly 512. So, and if I, so if I push this to one side, I should get a 0 on one of these. Push it to the other side, I should get a 1023. 0, 10, 23 kind of thing, right? Okay. Well, I'm going to use those, you know, left is one input, right is one input, up is one input, and down is one kind of thing. So I've got my trigger device. That's just showing us the values that are on it. And then I have plugged into pin 0 a little LED strip. I'm going to make it do four different things. Um, this LCD, 602 LCD, is an I squared C device, so it is plugged into you know ground and power, but then pin 19 and pin 20. Pin 19 it plug goes into the SCL, and pin 20 is the SDA. All right, is everything? Did I tell you everything? Okay, here we go. So, if I you know four directions, north, south, east, and west should send me two different colors. So I, I went to the right, and that. And my code says do red. I went to the left and it says do you, for some, do you hear the, the cricket? I don't know why he's doing that. Maybe some, someone, there's someone out there much smarter than me uh, that can tell me why that's doing cricket. Um, so there's you know, one input, second input, down is a third input that should be a different color, green, there should be red, yellow, green, blue. Hopefully you can see that. Um, so there we go. That's you know four inputs from one device, which is nice in two pins. Um, oh, I didn't tell you. My microbit is connected to uh, an expansion board. You know, it's a KittenBot brand expansion board. I have a bunch of different ones. I have KittenBot. I have Electrics. I have a Cricut from Adafruit, and I have uh, MakerBits. Um, I just like seeing the variety of things. Oh, I also got uh, Electrify expansion boards. And you use expansion boards for two reasons. One, to get it more pins than just 0, 1, 2, and 3. And two, sometimes you need 5 volts. This didn't need 5 volts for some strange reason. It didn't like 5 volts. So, I don't know why. Because this actually says it's 5 volts. But when I used 5 volts, the numbers were all wrong. So, there's four inputs. One, two, three, four. Now I'll show you the code that I did to play with four inputs. Um, you had to go. You have to go get some extensions. So the first extension is because I have that LCD on there. We need an LCD extension. So you go to extensions and either search for 1602, 1602. Or 1602 LCD, and I've just used the Maker Bit one. Roger Wagner made that one. Bring it in. You have to tell it that you have an LCD hooked up somewhere. Usually, address 39. That's the default. Is right. And then there are also some, you know, blocks to tell it what to show on the LCD and where to show them. An LCD is, uh, 1602 LCD is 16 characters, two lines. So I had to tell it where I want to show. 
because I'm putting some uh, a strip of NeoPixels on here, you have to go get the NeoPixel um, extension. Boom, NeoPixels. Click that. Here's NeoPixels. Again, you have to tell it you have a set, a strip of NeoPixels and what pin they're on and how many you have. Now, that variable can be anything. They automatically call it strip. Um, the first time I brought it in, it was just called strip. The second time you want to bring it in, it would be called strip too, because I could put another set of LEDs on here, of NeoPixels. Um, okay. And then in the code, I have to, I, I made a variable. Oh, yeah, I made a variable. that So that data that came in from my toggle switch, um, you know, the numbers that come in, I sent them into two different variables. So you go to variables, and you make a variable. I made one called X pause and Y pause, X position, Y position. And then I use the set strip. Whoop, I set, no, yes, I use the variable. That's the variable set thing, and it's a drop down menu. So I set, well, I set X position to whatever pin my X was plugged into. Well, pins, well, pins is another set of codes down here, it's under advanced. Another set of blocks. So you scroll down to pins, and I found analog. Again, this is analog because it goes from values 0 to 1023. There's also digital, which is just an on-off. That's a push button. This is an analog input. So I do that. I'm on pin 2 for X position. Boom. So that's how you create that block. And then you do the same thing to create the Y position. And then how I did four inputs. Again, the values go from 0 to 1023. So I just put four if statements. So you go to, uh, where am I at? You go to logic. You pick an if statement, right? Okay, if. Move things across so you can see how I make it. If, if something is true. Well, if what is true? Well, I need some math. Or some comparison. So I grab this triangular box under logic. And I say, well, if something is something. So I need uh, I need that variable. If my x position number. Again, that's that x position is a number. And let's say it's greater than. And again, the maximum it can be is 1023. So pick a number smaller than that. Doesn't matter what you pick. The middle is about 500, so as long as you go and you're like bigger than let's say 600, um, you should be fine. So I just picked 900. That's what I used. I could have picked eight, could have picked 700. It's when I you know toggle to the right that I'm getting bigger than that, and then then what should happen? Well, then we should show red. And then I went the opposite side, less than. Well, let's go less than. You know, if I go to the, all the way left, I should get zero. You don't want to really want to use zero and ten twenty three. You want to get use values close to those. You might want to try it. Um, so if I get less than three hundred, we should go yellow. That way, someone does that. They'll go take it all the way over to the left before it'll change. And then same thing for if the y is greater than nine hundred, if the y is less than three hundred, just change the colors. So, oh, I forgot to show you how to put it in there. Oh, then you just grab it and drop it in. And then I needed to do needed to have something happen. If X position is greater than 900, do something. Well, I just picked this block. Show color. The thing with uh, NeoPixels is you don't just set a color. You have to also show the color. And then there's drop-down menus. So that's how I built the if blocks. And I just copied, pasted them, and switched up which position, what value, greater than, less than, and then color. So that's using one device on two pins for four inputs. Play with it.